Hello folks, today we are tackling another hacker rank challenge. This one is called Hackerland Radio Transmitters. As usual, I'll be going over the problem, giving you some time to do it on your own, and then going over my solution. So let's check it out. Hackerland is a one-dimensional city with houses aligned at integral locations along a road. The mayor wants to install radio transmitters on the roofs of the city's houses. Each transmitter has a fixed range, meaning it can transmit a signal to all houses within that number of units distance away. Given a map of Hackerland and the transmission range, determine the minimum number of transmitters so that every house is within range of at least one transmitter. Each transmitter must be installed on top of an existing house. So, for example, if you have this array one two three five and nine with a transmitter distance of one you would need three antenna on houses two five and nine to have complete coverage and that's basically what we're trying to get to so the answer here is three and the idea is you would have the antenna on house two so that one two and three can get covered five and nine are by, basically by themselves so that, that's the issue there um so i actually do like uh, near the bottom here on the explanation they have some visuals which is a really good thing to have so definitely check this out uh, i'll give you some time to do it on your own and we'll come back with my solution see you later So for the solution, I'm actually gonna be uh, just going over a quick example here. I'll be using their input here. I'm just gonna change one of these numbers. I'm gonna take the four and make it a three. Uh, so that's what I'll be looking at here. So let's imagine for a second that we have our input list here as uh, this, this list here. Again, this four is a three now, so keep that in mind uh, with a transmitter of two. So first things first, you probably wanna sort this thing. So we're gonna sort it initially and we'll get something like this. And we see here, this list is, I have the indices on the bottom here, as well as the numbers on the top. And the idea here is I'll go back to this. And the, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna handle one transmitter at a time and I'll basically split it into two parts. First, I wanna handle the left-hand side, which is like going from two to, to four, or in my case, three. I wanna handle that until it gets to the pivot point where the transmitter is. And then I'll handle the right-hand side of that separately. And then you just do that for every transmitter, basically. So what does that look like? So first we'll have an iterator here of i equals zero. And what I wanna do now is once I have my, kind of like the leftmost house, I wanna add the transmitter amount to that, which is two, so it's two plus two is four. And now I have kind of like my max transmitting house. So if there's a four, that's the one I wanna get on. Uh, and the reason I changed from four to three here is kind of, I wanted to showcase that you may not have that max transmitting house, uh, but you wanna get as close to it as possible. So here I would, basically have a while loop where I'm iterating on I and I'm just incrementing it and I'm going to hit on to a house that is as close to four as it can be. The second I get to five though, that's too high and I'll stop my loop. The thing to note here is my iterator will technically go one more than it needs to because when I get to the five, that's when I know I'm done. So, um, so technically the I is at two, just to keep that in mind. So if I look at my current house, it'll be like I minus one technically, uh, but that's the current house is actually the three. Um, and so now I, that's my pivot point effectively where I would have the transmitter. Now I need to kind of go to the right-hand side and figure out that max, which would be like the last house. So I just take the current house plus that transmitter again. So that three plus two is five. I would try and find five or get as close to it as possible in another while loop essentially. Uh, we happen to have a five here. So this uh, range is the range that's covered by our first transmitter. What's nice is our while loop iterates one more than it needs to. So we're actually positioned with our eye right here on this uh, six here. So we can actually start uh, the next process, the next transmitter, and kind of do the same process. We'll start with that as our rightmost house for the next transmitter. We'll add two to get eight, and that is our now pivot point. Uh, there is no eight though, so we get as close to it as we can. We'll go to seven. And once we're at seven, we'll uh, do another adding of two to so get to nine, and we'll find our range as six, seven, nine, the transmitter existing on the seven there. So that is the idea and the logic behind what the algorithm is. So let's check it out. So here my code is in Python. Uh, I hope the logic exists in such a way that you can translate this to any language. I think I may have changed the variables here uh, just to be more explicit with the naming because naming is an issue. Uh, but first, first we sort the thing, which is uh, if you consider time complexity, this is n log n. Uh, I keep track of my transmitter count at set to zero initially. And our iterator, of course, I is set to zero as well. And then we just have a while loop set up to just go through the whole list. So this is gonna be definitely big O of N for that. 
Um, I'm going to increment my transmitter count. You can do this at the start or that near the end doesn't really matter where you put it. Just make sure to make sure to have it in there. Um, and then we start off looking at our max house, uh, my max transmitting house, which we need to take our current house, which is house of I uh, plus a transmitter. And we're trying to get as close to that as we can. Uh, and so we just have a while loop, which position positions us in such a way that we are hitting uh, the that that transmitting house. We're technically one more. So to keep in mind that's why i do minus one here and now that we're now that we have that pivot point we can now just add another transmitter to that and the, the range for that to get the last house in that um that that transmission range uh and we just do another wall loop basically and we're doing the same thing again we're getting as close as we can to that last house uh, if it exists um you do this over and over again and you're basically done at the end of that with a transmitter count that is the answer one thing i will note here is that this while loop logic you might be thinking well hold on maybe there are maybe having a while loop in another while loop changes the time complexity and that normally would be the case but we see here that this logic you see i have it highlighted it's repeated within the while loop so even though we have these other while loops in here they they both they all house the same logic that is the stopping point uh, of the outer while loop so the second this logic is false it's false for all of them so this ensures kind of like an upper bound that the most you can travel through this list is once which is big old n so that's why that why, this is why i can say that this whole thing is big old n even though there are other while loops going on in the middle there so if we look at the total time complexity we see that we have big old n log n uh, which is a sorting plus big of n which is that um looping uh and the you have, to, you have to consider very large values for n and so this this value basically drops off and we get n log n as our time complexity so let's see what happens when we run the code looks good let's submit some code Here we go. all right so that was short and sweet uh, i think the only thing that was hooking me up on this one was just keeping track of one-off issues with like i minus one and whatnot happens all the time but for the most part this one wasn't too bad uh, so folks this is the kind of content you enjoy please make sure to like subscribe and do all the good things and i will see you next time take care